Hey, for those of you who've been following along our little fireball project, um, looks like we got some pretty good uh, feedback with regard to the removal of the paint as well as uh, the polishing uh, of the exterior to get this uh, aluminum look. And we thought it'd be a good idea to give you a quick little recap how we did it. First thing I want to suggest, gloves. 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 Get the gloves. Jasco. This is their premium paint remover. I could use more, uh, but I bought one container. This is one gallon, and it did 80% of this fireball. Now granted, this is a small trailer, so if you have a big trailer, you're going to at least get two or three of these things. I wish I had another one now just to get a couple little spots that I missed. So you put the premium remover on until it bubbles. I used it. Uh, a paintbrush but then I realized that I was better served with a small tray and these purdy rollers uh, these were the 3 8 map uh, and it's a three-quarter cord to fit in but this purdy applicator it got a lot of space quick and believe me with this premium removal uh, product you got to slop it on I talked about that earlier at first I was just painting it on no you got to slop it on and the more you slop it on the better it works I thought it was 15 minutes, it's not, it's, you put it on, and again, you put it on in two by two sections, three by three sections, you put that on, by the time you swipe the first, second, third, fourth, fifth panel, by the time you're done with that fifth panel, this one's already bubbling. Let it sit till it starts to bubble, and there's your other buddy. Get your little putty knife, you scrape that off. Terry cloth towels. These are your friends, not regular uh, cloths. Not old t-shirts, this. The texture on these terry cloth towels, because not only does that allow you to remove most of the heavy, easy, bubbled paint, but you can also rub in and get out those little corners with that terry cloth towel. So after you've done the whole trailer with your premium remover and you've scraped it off, um, also, don't forget, before you start anything, lay down a tarp. I bought a, one of those blue tarps, a 10 by 10, and believe me, the time you take, the few seconds you take to lay it down before you start, you'll be happy because you won't have a lot of cleanup. Once I did the paint remover, I took the uh, rubbing compound. This I bought at Osh. This is made by generic turtle wax. And I put on this rubbing compound. I put the rubbing compound on, and I use this buffer from Craftsman. These are pretty affordable. Uh, I bought a couple extra uh, towelettes, uh, the thick ones as well as the terry cloth ones. And once I applied the rubbing compound again in that same two by two sections, I let it dry and I hit it with that buffer. This clear pro, you add to the actual cushion on the buffer and it helps bring out the shine and the luster. And it, it really enhanced all the effort that you made with that rubbing compound. This really brings it out. It does leave a, a black film, which is easily taken off again by your trusted terry cloth towel. So we did the Jasco, we did the rubbing compound, and I got about 80%. And what I mean by 80% is that there's still corners. There's still lines inside, these little indentations that are part of the look of the exterior of the aluminum. So with this, I'm gonna get in there with the soft toothbrush. And again, with my rubbing compound, and I, you gotta, again, stay in your two by two, three by three section and just work it in. Work it in, let it get dry, get your cherry cloth towel, wipe it off. So that's in the finishing work. Uh, right now I'm just going for bulk removal. And as you can see, this is an example of the bulk removal. This is a little morning job. This took about an hour and a half. And now I'll just go back in, and it, within the final detailing, I'll get all these little lines out. Notice some places are just perfect where they came out. Sometimes it just needs a little bit more effort. I had to take the scrolls off. Don't worry, folks, all you uh, fireball fanatics. I'm going to put the scrolls back on. But when I took the scrolls off, you could see the two or three layers of paint. And that's where I wish I had some more of that Jasco paint remover because I could have attended to that. But I'll have to wait. I could use the break, like I said. Um, it's been a long day. Uh, folks, here's a little something that I did as well. I live in a great community, but you never know. I bought a chain. I bought a lock. A master lock and I hooked it to my fence which is in the cement and I hooked it to my trailer 
you never know. With something this small, it's a lot of effort for somebody to decide they'd like to have it instead of me. So I put the chain on there. I swear I hear the chain rattling, I'll be out there. But um, you gotta be mindful of that, unfortunately. So uh, that was paint removal. We're 70, maybe 75% there. You gotta get to that top. So we're gonna try to do that either late at night or first thing in the morning. It's gonna be a pain. But I'm gonna start from the front and work down. I'll be done, I'll be done two more days. So look forward to that. And uh, thanks for watching. It's the Fireball Project. We're live in beautiful Lacrosse Center. See you next time.